Prime Minister Stephen Harper is wrapping up his Asian trip at the APEC summit with what could be called a $36 billion win for Canada's energy sector. Malaysia's uh, Petronas has agreed to build a natural gas plant in B.C. Jessica Murphy standing by in Ottawa with more. Good morning, Jessica. Good morning, Pat. And this is a bit of a coup for the Prime Minister. He managed to shake on this deal that uh, the Malaysian government, it's a state-owned company, Petronas, uh, that, that will be taking part uh, in this uh, natural gas plant that will uh, be in Prince Rupert, British Columbia. Uh, this was a deal that Malaysia said they were interested in, but they hadn't committed to. Uh, they estimated it would be roughly a $20 billion deal. Now that's gone up to $36 billion. As I said, in, it'll be built in Prince uh, Rupert, British Columbia. It'll process natural gas extracted by uh, Progress Energy that's uh, partially owned by uh, that state-owned company as well. It'll be transmitted through a pipeline uh, built by TransCanada. Shipments are expected to begin by 2018 or so. Of course, this would be opening up uh, Canada's uh, energy industry to uh, some of the Asian markets, something that this government has been pushing as hard for. It's estimated uh, that it will create about 3,500 jobs during the construction phase. We're looking at two to three a hundred jobs or so thereafter. Now, uh, as I said, it's a bit of a coup. We heard uh, just a little, a couple of weeks ago now, uh, from a former conservative minister, industry minister, in fact, Jim Prentice. Uh, he, in a speech in London, said he was concerned that new rules that the conservative government had put out on uh, foreign direct investment by state-owned enterprises had actually cool those investments in Canada. We've seen a big drop in foreign di di direct investments in the energy sector in the last year or so, really about a 90% drop in money flowing in. Prentice was saying the new rules coming out, saying state-owned enterprises could only own a minority stake, really cool that. It looks like uh, there is still some confidence in that market there. Uh, so uh, the Prime Minister walking away, leaving Kuala Lumpur just before heading to the APEC later in the weekend uh, with uh, that nice deal under his belt there. Yeah. And I'll add to that story, though. Isn't he also boycotting the Commonwealth uh, meeting? This is uh, big news coming out uh, from just late last night. Uh, he is in Bali, Indonesia, for that APEC summit, summit meeting, talking about this other summit coming up in mid-November, the 54-member uh, member intergovernmental uh, body, the, the Commonwealth, saying uh, he's boycotting it because it's taking place in Sri Lanka. Uh, he's raised concerns before about the human rights record in Sri Lanka. Uh, he released the following statement last night, saying Canada believes that if the Commonwealth is to remain relevant, it much, must stand in defense of the basic principles of freedom, democracy, and respect for human dignity. Uh, and it's clear that the th Sri Lankan government has failed to uphold the Commonwealth core values. Uh, so he's saying he was concerned by, for example, lack of accountability on human rights violations, humanitarian standards, uh, this coming after uh, three decades of civil war in that country. Uh, he's talked, he's raised concerns about the impeachment of uh, Sri Lankan Chief Justice, intimidation, incarceration of political leaders and journalists, and so on. Uh, not only that, he's also added to that threat. He says now Canada is reviewing its funding to the Commonwealth. We're the actually the second largest donor to that organization. We're looking about about $20 million annually. Uh, we're looking for more details a little on where they may be cutting that funding. Uh, but yes, finally, following through on a threat he made a couple of years ago at the last Commonwealth Summit in Australia saying uh, human rights uh, have not improved in that country, so we, we won't be there. Jessica, thank you, though, for that update. You're welcome.